Hi there, my name is Rianne Davies. I just wanted to give you some of my tips and tricks for how I deliver Shockwave. So sometimes I'll use a wiggle wire. I don't tend to wire the vessel up front with a wiggle wire. I'll go in with my workhorse wire. I'll use a microcatheter and then it, um, remove that uh, microcatheter after exchanging for the wiggle wire. Additionally, I'll use guide extensions anywhere from a 5.5, which delivers a 2.5 millimeter shockwave balloon through a six French that can deliver any size and a, a seven French and greater can hold two wires and the shockwave balloon. Additionally, I will use a trap liner. That's a specialized guide extension that has a balloon on the shaft aspect. So it's easy to trap gear in and out. I just urge you that if you do do the trapping techniques of any sort when you're removing gear, just be cautious to de-air the system to avoid any uh, problems in that regard. Additionally, I'll use an anchor balloon technique. That's sometimes where we advance a balloon over a wire into a side branch with our main wire uh, having the shockwave uh, vest uh, balloon on it down the main vessel. And in order to make anchor balloon work, you'll inflate the balloon in that side branch to a low atmosphere. Sometimes if you're treating it, you can um, inflate accordingly. And that helps just uh, keep the guide in place and advance accordingly. And lastly, rotational atherectomy, sometimes just to make a path and then follow that with uh, my shockwave balloon. I always recommend though, no matter what, use imaging to make sure the vessel is getting the proper modification. Thank you.